Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Miko and I'm currently a senior studying at Middlebury College. For today's video, as it is suggested in the title, I am going to take you on a campus tour. I know college decisions came out recently, and for those of you who are seniors at high school, congratulations! Now it is the time for you to choose which school you want to spend your next four years at. Sadly, because of COVID this year, a lot of students and parents aren't able to visit schools. So I thought, because I am staying on campus in the dorm, why don't I just take my camera and walk around with you to show you the campus? I don't have access to a lot of buildings since they're mostly closed at this point, but I'll incorporate some past footage from myself and my friends as much as possible to show you what the school is like when it's still operating. Hopefully this video would give you a feeling of what it is like to walk around campus and help you decide if you like it here. So with those all said, let's go! Here I am walking out from Proctor, one of our dining hall buildings, and you can see Gifford Hall to your left and Mead Chapel to your right. Mead Chapel holds a very special place in my heart because convocation in September and baccalaureate in May are all held in here every single year. So it is a place where Mid Kids College journey starts and concludes. I am a member of the Middlebury College Choir. We have two hour practices Monday and Wednesday every week, so I share a lot of beautiful memories with the amazing people in choir in Mead Chapel. Other choral ensemble and campus a cappella groups perform in Mead Chapel as well. From the Mead Chapel, we're now walking towards the McCullough Student Center. I still cannot spell McCullough correctly in one try, but that's okay, I'm graduating anyways. So in the McCullough Student Center, we have the grill, which is a place to go when you're hungry late at night for fries, sandwiches, chicken tenders, etc. Downstairs, we have the student-run Crossword Cafe. One of my friends was actually the manager of the Crossword Cafe, so I hang out with my friends and study there a lot. I love their hot chocolate and chai latte with oat milk. You should definitely give it a try if you have a chance to visit. There is also Mid Express, which is a small convenience store. You can get snacks, sandwiches, and even sushi there. So with these three places plus the Wilson Cafe at Davis Library, students can use the declining balance on their ID card, which is, I think, about $25 per semester, if I remember correctly. Students can pick up their mails from their mailbox or larger packages from Mail Center Monday through Friday. Besides the Mail Center, there's also the Wilson Hall located in the McCullough Student Center where a lot of dance groups and culture-related associations have performances there every year. I ha honestly have so much memories about struggling with the tech rehearsal, but also so much fun memories actually performing on the stage. Now if we go through the McCullough Student Center and come out from another exit, Old Chapel is right in front of us. If we keep walking along the road, we'll see Davis Library right in front of us. But before I mention that, I want to tell you a little bit about Accent Center. So Accent Center is the old library of Middlebury College. Classes offered at Accent include English, Film, and History classes. Davis Library is the library at Middlebury College, and this is a video I took when I was walking around campus near Davis Library during summer. It is absolutely beautiful during summer here, and you get a really nice view if you study next to the bit windows at Davis. Wilson Cafe is located on the main floor of Davis, and I sometimes go there to grab a coffee or a bagel if I become hungry in the middle of studying. There are many resources at Davis Library, including Circulation Desk, Technology Help Desk, and CTLR. CTLR stands for Center for Teaching, Learning, and Research, and it provides writing tutoring, subject tutoring, study advices, and time management support from professionals as well as peer tutors. There are drop-in TA sessions and one-on-one -on -one sessions available. It is one of the resources I appreciated the most when I came to Middlebury besides our very supportive and always available faculty to help me succeed academically. Next, I love to talk about Mahaney Center for the Arts, which is often referred to as CFA or MCA. CFA hosts our music, dance, and theater department. It serves as an art center not only for the college, but also for our local community. There are a studio theater, a large dance performance space, and a beautiful concert hall. Besides performances from our very own students, faculty, and staffs, 
the Middlebury Performing Arts Series bring amazing musicians, dancers, and actors from all over the world to the MCA for performances. There is also a museum at CFA with collections of Asian and Western art. So CFA was actually a little bit, not was, is a little bit far away from all the other buildings on campus. So I didn't actually walk there. So let's go back to where I was at, which is right in front of the library. If you turn to the right and walk uphill, you'll see Warner Hall. So Warner Hall is the old science building and now hosts econ and math department. Portuguese and Spanish classes happen here as well. What's special about Warner is that there is actually a prime staircase and an even staircase. I know, right? The math building. So I can't really tell you how many times I got lost at Warner. I'm sure the math majors get it better than I do. So the next building I'm introducing you to is the Dana Auditorium. The Dana Auditorium has a big screening room where a lot of talks and film screening are often scheduled. A few moments later. Often scheduled. Um, there is also study abroad office in Dana Auditorium. I personally did not study abroad because I am sort of already studying abroad because I'm international. Um, but a lot of Middlebury students do choose to study abroad in their junior year, either for a whole year or for one semester. Next to our right, we can see the Johnson Memorial Building, which is home to our studio art and architecture studies. Fun fact, although Johnson was designed as the architecture studies building, there was no bathroom in Johnson in the original design. If we walk behind the Johnson Memorial Building, you can see a big box. It's called 75 Shannon Street. It is the computer science department building right now. Um, so the school didn't even bother to name it. And it is apparently a temporary building for future 20, 30 something years, but I don't know. It's, it, we all agree it's ugly, so no comments. There are three dining halls on campus. This one is called Atwater. It is the most beautiful one, but it's not open for every single meal. The other two dining halls are Ross Dining Hall and Proctor Dining Hall. Proctor is also where the language tables are located at. It is a place where you commit to only speak the language you're learning with your peers and your professors. Finally, in front of us, it is the Bicentennial Hall, which we usually refer to as Bi Hall, the science building at Middlebury College. So we have six academic departments and three programs located in Bi Hall. The six departments include biology, chemistry and biochemistry, geography, geology, physics, and psychology. The three programs are environmental studies, neuroscience, and molecular biology and biochemistry. So I am an MBB major, so I have spent a lot of time in this building taking classes, doing labs, and struggling with problem sets and exams. I have a love-hate relationship with Hall, but it is also where I feel most at home. I joined a research lab during sophomore year and have worked as an undergrad research assistant since then, including working full-time last summer. I am currently conducting senior research under the supervision of my research advisor. The close relationship I was able to develop with my advisor is the most valuable experience I had at Middlebury College, and I am sure a lot of research students would agree with me. I came in college knowing that I want to become a scientist in the future, and I had the chance to learn from my seniors and my advisor ask questions whenever I need, grow as a scientist, both in lab and writing papers, and challenge myself by carrying out a senior research independently. So this concludes our campus tour today, and thank you for watching the video. Let me know if you have questions, and if you like the video, please sum up and please leave a comment below, and I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs>